Do you like big red numbers and going invisible? Well, strap in, buckaroo, because stuff's about to get wild. I'm in a goat in a trench coat. Welcome to the goat house, and I am going to show you how to build my favorite build so far. The Great Monster. Let's go over the build. Starting out with the necessary items and the weapon specifically, we're going to be using the Crescent Moonbow, the long gun of this build, and it is absolutely fantastic because of the mod that it's got. It's called Moonlight Barrage and it reads, empowers the bow for 15 seconds, arrows apply moonlight to enemies for 3 seconds, enemies struck by Crescent Moon while moonlit to release a moon essence, which returns 1 arrow, heals 5% of maximum health, and grants 15% fire and reload speed for 5 seconds. Basic shots automatically become charge shots, and manually charge shots fire 2 arrows. That last part, ooh man, that is a doozy. That thing is gonna crit so many times, so much. And for the mutator, we've got Slayer, reloading increases damage of this weapon's next shot by 20%, last 3 seconds. This is every shot, because it's a single shot weapon, it will reload every time you draw a new arrow. At level 10, it increases the reload speed by 15%, so you're just gonna draw arrows quicker. For the amulet, we've got the Ankh of Power, grants 15% increase to all damage, consuming a relic doubles the bonus for 15 seconds. That is going to push out so much extra damage, it's gonna be crazy. And we've got the Ring of Lord Beauty, range weak spot damage is increased by 25%, that's a quarter more damage. Range damage is reduced by 15% when failing to hit a weak spot, so if you can't aim, you're not gonna do well but it's really not that hard to aim. Next up, we've got the Stone of Expanse, increases range damage by 12%, reduces all other damage dealt by 6%, which would be da damage over time and your melee. Next up, we've got what is most definitely the most important trinket, the Probability Cord. Increases crit damage by 30%, that is a lot of damage. Last but not least, we've got Xenia's Malice, dealing weak spot damage increases weak spot damage by 10% for 7 seconds, this stacks 3 times. So the more crits you hit, the more damage your crits do. Next we've got our archetype skills, which is gonna be Gunslinger Bulletstorm. It reads, unleashes the full power and speed of the Gunslinger, increases fire rate by 20% and reload speed by 50% for all ranged weapons. This last 20 seconds and then for the coolest ability we have hunter shroud from the hunter archetype and it's going to be your primary archetype this reads hunter becomes shrouded reducing enemy awareness and making them harder to hit while moving attacking or activating a mod or skill will instantly exit shroud then because hunter is your prime archetype your prime perk is going to be dead to rights dealing 55 base range weak spot damage extends the duration of active hunter skills by 3.5 seconds can extend timer beyond its initial duration you can easily get this thing to last at least a minute or at least until you find the boss at the end of the dungeon if you're quick enough then for the lesser important items, that does not mean they're not important, but you can switch them out if you feel like it. First, as our handgun, we have the Enigma. It fires an electrical stream that jumps to nearby targets within 7.5 meters, dealing 30% reduced damage per jump. This applies overload. This is very good for clearing mobs. The mod Chaos Driver reads, drives electrified rods which tether to other rods within 10 meters, tethers last 10 seconds and deals 65.4 shock damage per second. Targets take 163.5 shock damage per second and 25% damage per extra rod. Increases 1.5 times if linked to another rod. Rods in the same target will not link. And for the mutator, I've got Lithely equipped, increases this weapon's reload speed by 7% for each enemy killed between reloads, last 15 seconds, and has max 5 stacks. For the melee weapon, we've got the Spectral Blade, 
It's got the ability of performing a charged melee attack during a neutral backdash creates whirlwind of slashes which strike all enemies within 8 meters for 297.6 damage. We've got the enlarged heart relic, innate double use speed, on use heals 140 health over half a second. Relic capacity is halved. I rarely need more than 5 relics anyway, but that might differ from person to person. Then the rune fragments we've got equipped are ranged crit chance, ranged crit damage, and weak spot damage. That's just to get the most out of it. I've got the navigator's helm and the space worker set as my armor purely because I think it looks dope. Now let's see what this thing can do. Big red numbers. Going invisible. That's disgusting. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Let me know if you play this build and if you enjoy it as much as I did. I am Mini Goats in a Trench Coat and from the Goat House, I am signing off. Bye.